Hello everyone. Welcome to scarday.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is filarial infections. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what filarial infections are and what comes under the headlines. First of all, we'll start with tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. In this lecture, we're going to talk about when this pulmonary infiltrates and eosinophilia were correlated and reported for the first time. We're going to talk about all those five times or all those five subtypes of pulmonary pneumonias or pulmonary eosinophilias being found. Next on, we're going to talk about how do we diagnose this patient with which clinical symptoms and uh, signs this patient is going to present to us. How do we treat this patient? Next on, we'll talk about onchocerciasis. We're going to talk about what causes it. We're going to talk about its life cycle. We're going to talk about what two hosts does it use. We're going to talk about how those uh, black flies are going to bite us and put their larvas in our body and how they uh, lead to the dirt form in our body and then go back into those black flies. And in the uh, process, how do they affect our body? Next time, we're going to talk about how do we diagnose this patient? How do we diagnose this pathology? What clinical symptoms and signs will be presenting to us with? And how do we treat this patient? Next time, we're going to talk about Luiesis. We're going to talk about it is caused by Loa Loa. We're going to talk about what is the vector for this pathology. We're going to talk about what's the life cycle of it. We're going to talk about what clinical symptoms it will present to us with. We're going to talk about how do we diagnose it. What's the best diagnostic modality used for it. And then we're going to talk about the treatment options we have for Luiesis. Next time we're going to talk about streptosociasis. We're going to talk about from what streptosociasis is caused. What are those worms called? We're going to talk about what's their life cycle. We're going to talk about how do they lead to these clinical manifestations, these clinical findings. We're going to talk about what are their target organs in the body involving the skin and lymph systems. And next on, we're going to talk about how do we diagnose them and how do we treat them indefinitely. Next on, we're going to talk about Mansonella Pristan infections. Then what are those infections? What's the causative organism? What's their life cycle like? How do we diagnose it? How do we treat it? Next time we're going to talk about Mansonella Ozardi infection. Then what's the difference between uh, Mansonella Ozardi infection and Prestan's infection? We're going to talk about its uh, clinical findings. How do we diagnose it? How do we treat it? And we're going to compare it with the Prestan's infection. Next on, we're going to talk about draconculiasis. We're going to talk about why it's found in the feet and the legs. What is it caused by? Where does it come from? Where we find this pathology more oftenly, either rural areas or urban areas? Why is it there? How do we get it? What's the life cycle of it? How do we diagnose it? And how do we treat it? Next on, we're going to talk about zoonotic filarial infections. We're going to talk about what is it caused by? What are the clinical symptoms that you have to look for? And how do we treat this patient suffering from zoonotic filarial infections? So for watching this complete lecture and the variety of lectures which start from anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology, pharmacology, going on to medicine and surgery, there are thousands of lectures which you can avail. There's an option for you with trial lectures so that you can get accommodated. So for availing all of this, please subscribe to scardia.com.